بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين السلام عليكم Backbiting a big sin We all know that backbiting is a big sin in Islam It is a very immoral and bad habit But do you all know its definition and punishments in Islam? In this video, backbiting will be discussed in the light of Quran and Hadiths. What is backbiting? An answer to this question can be found in a Hadith of Sahih Muslim. It was narrated by Hazrat Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu. According to this Hadith, backbiting is to say something bad about someone at his or her back. It refers to saying negative things about a person's looks, features, personality traits or characteristics etc which could be painful. Calling someone short or very small in a mocking way if that person is below average height is backbiting. This hadith also mentions one important characteristic of backbiting which is that the particular defect or thing which is said must be true and present in that person. If it is true, then the saying is regarded as backbiting. For example, calling a person miser is backbiting if that person in reality is very stingy. However, if that person is not miser in reality, but others call him or her based on their negative thoughts and assumptions, then it is not backbiting but another big sin known as slandering. Thus, in brief, the definition of backbiting is to mention negative things about a person's traits, habits, behaviors, etc. which are true. It could be mentioned through talk, gestures or any other means. Some common examples of backbiting are as follows. Uh, talking about someone and saying that that person is quarrelsome. That person is fired from job. He is abandoned by that person. Their kids are duffers. She is very ugly. He is very bad. They are poor. Their family status is low. He is a donkey. He is a fool. She doesn't think anyone is equal to her. He is so proud. If you notice, generally when people gossip about others, most of their talk would be either backbiting or slandering which are big sins. That's why we ought to avoid all gossip because backbiting is so bad that Allah subhanahu has ordered us strictly not to backbite in Quranic verse 12 of Surah Al-Hujrat. He said backbiting is like eating flesh of your dead brother. Well, by now you must have understood what backbiting is in Islam. But do you know? Talking negative things about some people is not regarded as backbiting in Islam. Yes, when you mention negative things or negative traits of wicked and anti-social people, then it won't be regarded as backbiting. For example, according to a book of translation and interpretation of Quran, Kanzul Iman Ma Khazainul Irfan, talking about negative things of three types of people is not backbiting. The first is Bad Mazhab, which means a person whose faith or Iman has changed and doesn't match with the beliefs of Islam. Second is Fasik or an evil person, a sinner who regularly violates Islamic law. The third type is a tyrant king or authority, that means a merciless and authoritative person who doesn't show mercy on his subjects or subordinates. There is also a hadith which states that any evil person or big sinners, violations and bad acts must be talked about in order to protect people. That means if a person is a fraud, thief, deceit or poses any other evil which could be hurtful or harmful to others, then we must inform other people about the evil nature and actions of such wicked people for the sake of Allah and to protect them from any possible harm. In such cases, talking about harmful acts or evil characteristics is not backbiting. Besides this, 
Sometimes people need to mention someone else's bad nature in bad behavior for some valid reason, such as to understand or explain a problem or to find a solution to an issue and sometimes to educate or warn others. For example, if there is a problem between wife and husband, sometimes they talk to any close friend or relative so that they can understand their problem well and find a better solution. They speak about the bad things or actions of the other person. But this talk will not be backbiting if there is a need and the intention is also good. Thus, in such a situation, negative talk is allowed only to the extent of its need. However, if it's done more than needed or as a part of gossip or one's bad habit or any other reason, then it is forbidden. And those who do it will be punished severely. What are the punishments of backbiting? In Surah Al-Humaza, Allah orders us not to backbite or do other similar evil acts and warns the violators of severe punishments. There is eternal death and damage for such people and they will be thrown in the hellfire which will raise till their hearts to burn them severely. After they are put in hell, the doors of the hell would be closed firmly so that they should not escape from it. There is a hadith which states that in the night of Miraj, our Prophet وسلم, saw a group of people whose nails were made of copper and they were scratching their faces and chest with their nails. These people were being punished for backbiting. One Sahih Bukhari's hadith reveals that people who backbite with an intention to worsen people's relationship and to increase tensions start getting punishments in the grave itself. Thus, you can see both Quran and Hadith mention the severe punishments of backbiting, slandering and other evils. Therefore, we all must try to stop our bad habits and seek Allah's forgiveness for all the bad deeds including backbiting. There is a Hadith which says that if a person backbites someone, then in order to repent this sin and to seek Allah's forgiveness, he or she should pray for maghfirah of that person about whom they talked negatively. And in the future, try never to indulge in any backbiting, pointing others' faults or any other evil action, nor listen or encourage others to do the same. Also, seek Allah's forgiveness and help so that we become successful in the life hereafter and escape hellfire and enter Jannah easily and quickly. Inshallah, may Allah keep us firmly on the right path. Amin.